Hi, in this video, we will show you how to do biofeedback scan using Spooky2 Scalar with Scalar Digitizer. Firstly, we plug the Scalar Digitizer to the link cable port on the Scalar Transmitter. Then connect the link cable to the Scalar Digitizer and the other end to Scalar Receiver. Connect the 12 volt power adapter to the transmitter power port. Connect G1 Alt 1 to the BNC port of Scalar Digitizer. and G2 Alt 1 to the BNC port of Spooky2 Scalar Transmitter. Make sure Generator X is 1 meter away from Spooky2 Scalar Transmitter and Scalar Field. Plug the power adapter into power source The other end goes into the generator X. Then connect USB cable to GX and the computer. Insert the USB end into the computer and the square end into the side of generator X. Turn on the generator X. Fourthly, turn on Spooky2 Scalar and tune Spooky2 Scalar. Turn the tuning adjustment knob anti-clockwise until the tuning light beside the output coil is at maximum brightness. You can open Spooky2 software now. It is important to know which number corresponds to G1 and G2 before running biofeedback. You can see here, G1 is port 17, G2 is 18. Go to Presets tab, click Biofeedback, Scalar Digitizer. Select Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer Slave JW. Go to Settings tab, look at the output shadowing. Set output equal X, where X means port number of G1. Since G1 is port 17, we set 17 here. Go to Control tab, take Override Generator and choose G2. Then go to Presets tab, select Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer Master JW. Go to Control tab. Take Override Generator and choose G1. Lie between the two scalar units and ask an assistant to click the Scan button to start the biofeedback scan. If you do not have anyone to help, set the start delay. This will give you time to start the biofeedback scan and position yourself correctly between the units. Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer Master Preset performs spell feedback, and the slave preset modulates Spooky2 Scalar. G1 will start the bell feedback, but no frequencies will be produced. Instead, the amount of scalar energy being absorbed for each frequency by the body will be recorded. G2 automatically starts, causing Spooky2 Scalar to transmit the generator frequencies. Here are some notes. First, it is better to lie perfectly still and only have one person in the scalar field. Second, this field extends outward, so ensure no living organism nearby. Third, you can do short scans once a day and longer scans once a week. Thanks for watching this video.